Yo, Sigma, how's it going? Um, finally back again to do some. I'm gonna try to do another review video today. So, today we're gonna be reviewing a. Let's see if we can zoom out a little bit. We're gonna be reviewing some new panel, panel box right here. See the focus. Yeah, the new uh, panel box, jigs box. Uh, this one I got was a Jigs box originally. Uh, I got this one from Walmart for $28 plus tax and shipping. So yeah, you can get them Taiko Warehouse or something like that. I think it's like $35. It's been really popular. People been trying to get a hold of it. So it's good luck trying to get that for less than $30 anyway. Uh, so I'm going to show you what I actually what I think about it, I mean I haven't really used it so far but so uh, like I mean I haven't taken it out on a kayak or on the river yet but so far I just been trying to organize them and stuff um, I love them so far uh, I love them and I love how organized it is and um, and how easy it is for you to actually um, you know be able to just look at it and you know which one you have and you could just grab it right away um, probably not the best idea for, to put it try to put it back right after you use it so you might want to put somewhere else let it dry out before you put it back in here I mean I already does that that's why I have like a trash bag or I have a little box on my kayak I say a trash can or something like that where I just put a bunch of lure juice lure in there when I came home I take that and dump it out on the table let it all dry overnight then I'll put them back in the original box. So that's how I usually organize my stuff. Uh, anyway, let's take a look through it. Um, so far, I 3700. So let's see here. Let me move my. That's the box right here. I got uh, a bunch of jigs in here. I think these box you can hold up to. 70 jig if if you know if you not have like I'll show you what the problem is actually it's be nice open it up let's see if I can actually show you what it is hold on a second okay let's see here so what you see here is actually a this is a stand up jig so I use this one I make all the jig you see here is I made I kind of hand pour it from do it mode so just any idea if you want to do make your own jig it's actually pretty easy a little bit to start off with but it's really easy to make at that while so over here I have a stand up jig Let's see, can grab this one out, show it to you. My camera, I want to focus. So this is just like a little stand-up jig called Brush Hawk or something. Small one. My camera is having really, really difficult time right now to record. Small one here. Okay, the problem is that here, take this one out. The problem is the football chip here. You can see I actually have to stack them because they're too fat to fit right next to each other. That's what I realized. So I kind of stack like when I want to get this one, it's difficult. I mean, I have to move that too to get it off, you know. So just keep that in mind if you're actually getting one of these football. I think the smaller one seems fine, the quarter hours one. But when you get the, uh, this is 2 egg, I think. 2 egg or, yeah, this is 2 egg. That's probably why it's a little fat. And this is some fun ass chick that I made just a couple days ago. Something I just don't remember. I'm not too worried about if I lose it, you know. Nice to have. This is one of my favorite jigs. Not favorite jig, but favorite type of jig. This is called Bullet Jig. Seven egg on once and out. 
I love this. I caught a lot of fish with this last year. So definitely going to try it out a lot. So many this year. My favorite color is probably not, not this one actually. It was this one right here. You can call it June Buck, that's what people to call it now. They call it June Buck, but I find it's really, really, really good color. It's kind of purple-ish with the black on it. Gold flake. This is a swim jig. Right here, same color, June Buck. Really nice jig. So this is the one we make. By we, it means it's me and my girlfriend. We made this. She made this jig. She chose the color and everything, but it's kind of nice, you know, to just play around with it. And this is some shadow bait. Okay, shadow bait. It's getting a little bit complicated, you can say. Uh, this is all Z-Man shadow bait right here. I make this one though. So I make this one. I make it off a uh, poison hair jig, which is a swim jig. But I do, uh, I do open up the hook a little bit by heating it up. Sometimes I just hammer them. So if they don't snap, then you open up pretty nice. So I can just attach the blade to the hook directly. You know, just like uh, one of those Z-Man one. This is the most expensive jig you see here. This is the Z-Man Jackhammer. I got this one from Fishing Tournament and I love it so far. Got zero complaint about it. And yeah, this thing can hold 70 jig. I think it was, what is it? I don't know how many is in a row. I haven't caught, but this is the big that came with it. I don't really know if this is gonna work really well, but so far I I mean like I said I haven't taken this one out yet so so far it hold all my jig when I flip over and stuff like that shake around the jig tend to stay still so which is kind of nice if it not stay still that mean uh, you don't have the V guard if you don't have the V guard it tend to bounce back and forth if you have the V guard it kind of you know push against the top so which is really nice and yeah I think what happened let me flip the camera off. I think what happened in future, I am actually going to make a uh, do it more video. I think I think I should make some uh, like pull my how I do how do I make my own jig and the process of me making it. Also, I do play around with uh, plastic lure. Uh, I make my own uh, trailer. Uh, you know all kind of stuff like that. I bought a bunch of them Last year in the fall, so I'm gonna be making video of that. I think that should be coming up soon Size fishing seasons coming up. I think next four four months. Yeah, I think uh, Next four or five months. I think that's when uh, the our tournament in my KBF start kicking off So I think that it's going to be really great so that will be my third season doing it. Uh, I still have the hobby, if you're wondering. Uh, it's somewhere at the own apartment. I have not moved it yet. And I do need to move it back to the new uh, new house here, new place here, uh, the new shop. So I still need to uh, find a way where I am going to put the kayak so I can, I have a couple ideas I wanna modify it. So I'll, I'll keep you guys updated and yeah today i just want to make a real review about this box uh i see people do it online so i do want to give some idea my opinion on it too uh so far i love it i think it's really great because i can be able to bring up i love being a lot of jig with me because i made them and i want to kind of fish with them so and they do call a lot of fish too uh, yeah so that's pretty much it. If you have any question, idea, or want to see me making jig, how, what color of shoes, where I fish, and stuff like that, uh, just give me a comment or send me on my social media, copy, I think copy T fishing something like that on my Instagram or fishing addict on Facebook page. Um, 
yeah all right i hope you guys enjoyed the video and this is gonna be my first first video for 2020 um, i am looking forward for it it's gonna be fun and it's gonna be cool so i hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching